question. So I will talk to you about the relation of functional tracing and corporal production in a reforestry system in Mexico. So uh, to, to introduce you, uh, this is a typical scenario in a reforestry system based on cocoa. So we have uh, cocoa trees here, and also behind this, these cocoa trees, there are some shade trees that uh, produce a shade and uh, favor the establishment of this of these plants. Also, there are some herbs that uh, provide food for the cosmogonders. This is a picture of uh, a cocoa tree. Uh, also, cocoa tree cocoa is um, a cauliflower species. So the flowers and fruits that produces are produced in the tree trunk, and of course, cocoa is used to to produce a uh, chocolate. So uh, this is uh, one of the trees in the in the study site. So the seeds are used are obtained from the fruits, of course, and after a um, fermentation process, uh, mix it with uh, dehydrated uh, milk. We obtain we can obtain uh, chocolate. If you wonder if I. Uh, eat chocolate every time I go to the field. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> I only uh, uh, count uh, fruits and mm -hmm. that's it. <laughs> so one of the main states in Mexico that produce uh, cocoa is Tabasco, Chiapas, and Guerrero. And potentially these, all these other states uh, produce uh, cocoa. So we, we are going to talk about uh, Veracruz and Oaxaca. And it has been estimated that five years are necessary to, for uh, cocoa uh, plants to establish. And it has been it has been estimated that five years after this period, uh, the shade should be reduced in order to obtain or increase the fruit production. So um, there are some uh, there are some traits in plants that indicates uh, this response or this response to the environmental conditions, for example, shade, uh, like the specific areas. There yesterday was a research symposium about this. So the aim of this research was to determine the effect of a in, in functional traits of experimental plots, shades and shade and cocoa variety on cocoa fruit production. To do this. In 2012, it has it was established uh, three uh, experimental plots, two located in Papantla, which is this, uh, Nautla, and Cerro Camarón in Oaxaca. So obviously, the, con the environmental condition in these sites are different. The precipitation, of course, is different, and the establishment of these uh, clonal varieties of cocoa uh, it was randomly located in this agroforestry system. As we can see, there are some uh, native trees here, and there, there is the four varieties, the uh, Inifab 1, 8, uh, 9, and Neocriollo. So the small holders also obtain food from the, from the herbaceous species. And we measure the microclimatic condition with this, with this base. Uh, this is a data logger with uh, for a synthetic active radiation in the base, also a uh, humidity and temperature sensor in the uh, above the canopy uh, level of the cocoa tree. Also, there is there are this sensor, and out of the plot, we also use this um, this sensor to determine the conditions out of the plot and inside of the agroforestry system. We also measure some functional traits like. Uh, stomata density and size, uh, specifically area, and uh, relative water content. So all these words was were analyzed with machine learning analysis and generalized linear mixed model. Mm -hmm. So what we found is this: uh, in Rancho Papayal, we we found that the photosynthetic active radiation transmitted by the shade trees. Was a uh, was low, uh, and in Nuevo Gital, the transmitted light was a uh, was high. It means that in this in Rancho Papayal and Cerro Camarón, the light conditions 
are higher than in Nuevo Gital. So the cocoa trees receive more light in these two plots. But uh, of course, if the light condition increases, also the, the microclimatic condition in the, in, the, in the cocoa trees also are modified. Uh, from based on temperature and humidity, the vapor pressure density was uh, estimated, and and this is the relation of BPD. As higher is the BPD, the plant it can be stressed by the by the environment, and so there is a more water demanding uh, um, situation in the plant. So inside of the uh, agroforestry systems, as we can see here. Uh, the BPD is low, so the, the environment is not so demanding for water as outside of the plots. <coughs> About the shade trees features, uh, we found uh, almost the same pattern for the tree height in the shade trees. So almost all the trees uh, have the same height, also the breast height diameter, and for cocoa trees features, and we found this also same this same pattern in Rancho Papaya La Cerro Camarón. We found uh, the highest values for tree height, also for base diameter, but for Nuevo Gital we found the lowest values also for the base diameter. Um, based on the machine learning analysis, we found uh, we found that the light conditions are not influenced. I mean. I mean the, the functional traits and are not influenced by the light conditions. So these uh, two condi light conditions uh, do not uh, differentiate these functional traits. Also, the varieties were the same in the tree plots, but since the tree plots were uh, geographically uh, located uh, at different sites, so uh, we found this in the multilinear a scaling plot, we found that these three plots are separated and the main importance of this analysis is that you can get or we can get uh, which is the main uh, functional trait or the main variable that explains this differentiation. So based on this analysis we found that the water relative content explains this uh, differentiation, also the true height and some other this. We we use in the model uh, approximately uh, 20, 20 functional traits, but these uh, these were the, the this was the 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 variable that explains this differentiation. So about the water relative relative content, we found that um, in this site uh, in Rancho Papayala Cerro Camarón which was the sites with the highest uh, light levels, uh, the relative content of cough increased. But if you remember, the BPD also was um, was lower in the agroforestry system here and also here. So, um, well, when we uh, analyze the sun and shade conditions, uh, we consider that photosynthetic activity radiation of cocoa trees in the sun and the shade condition. So what we found is that, of course, the sun condition is the the, the in this in this condition the, the trees receive more light and in the shade, of course, receive less. But what we found is that the shade condition in the shade condition the trees produce more fruits than on the on the sun condition. So this is just like the opposite because, as you remember. Uh, we expected that in the shade condition produce less uh, fruits than in the sun condition. So uh, those estimations about uh, five years are necessary to, to the establishment, and after that period, uh, the small holders should uh, reduce the shade to to increase the fruit production. That was not uh, so 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 clear. So what we found is that the light condition, of course, modified the microclimatic uh, condition. So the cocoa trees were different between the plots. Also, there are some modification in functional trees in leaves, and the shade favors the fruit production. So uh, finally, I I want I would 
thanks to all the team that helped us with the, the with the sampling in field, and of course to the small uh, small holders of the plots, and to the BSA because they gave me the Carl Graf to come here to this conference. So thank you.